Hello everyone, my name is Mariola and this is my channel Slow Down in Style. Today I have a really cool video. I've prepared around 10 or more outfits for spring in a smart casual style. In my style, there will be different outfits for different weather. So something for right now when you still need some layers, jackets, coats and some much lighter outfits for end of spring. For full transparency, this video is sponsored by Lily Silk. I worked with them a few times before and I really appreciate the quality of the clothes and natural materials and that's the reason why I continue working with them. I've received my pieces a little over two months ago so I feel like I had enough time to wear them, style them in different ways and wash some of them to give you my honest opinion. All clothes held really well, I have no issues with them whatsoever. Now, before I forget, with my special code SLOW20, you can get 20% off everything on their website, which I think is pretty great. So the outfits fall really nicely in my favorite outfit formulas. Uh, which I will explain uh, in the video. The first formula is a relaxed jumper and wide leg trousers. Uh, starting with trousers, I would definitely uh, choose something more tailored, more flowy, uh, something that looks quite elegant. In the first outfit, I uh, styled trousers from my last video. Uh, trousers that I got from uh, Jigsaw Sample Sale. Very nice, flowy, uh, tailored trousers that have this elegant style but are still very comfortable and practical. Uh, and I pair them with my uh, cashmere jumper from Lily Silk. I love everything about this jumper. First of all, the material is amazing. Uh, it's made from cashmere and a little bit of silk. So it's got the softness and coziness of cashmere, but it's also smooth and silky. It's very uh, practical because of the color. Let me tell you, if you're buying an expensive jumper, cashmere, wool, I would not recommend a black jumper because you can see everything on it. It always gathers some dirt. You can see the peeling. It's really not aesthetically pleasing, in my opinion. Beige and gray, I would say, is the most most practical and versatile uh, cashmere you can get. This jumper has beautiful cut. It has this really nice uh, length, so I don't have to tuck it in if I don't want to. And it's got this nice wide sleeves, which in my opinion is modern, more fashion forward and more interesting. So we have this beautiful neutral a tonal outfit. I really like how the colors come together, especially with the coat. So yes, it's really cool, cozy, very comfortable, but also quite smart. So I feel really uh, put together in this outfit. So the second outfit is very classic in spring and no surprise here, stripes. And I paired this striped jumper with silk trousers from Lily Silk. They're made from a really nice crepe silk that gives them a much more structure and um, volume, I would say. Um, really nice trousers. I love how they fit. I, I must be honest, I've seen them a lot online, on different platforms, on different influencers, but in white. And I wasn't really convinced, but I love them in navy. They fill the gap that I had in my wardrobe for wide leg and navy trousers. So it's a pretty basic outfit. You can create such look with any trousers. It doesn't have to be silk, of course, but I love the combination of colors and navy with stripes is just amazing. Now to keep this outfit more realistic, especially for this time of year, I paired it with my trench coat. Again, my new trench coat from my previous video. Very simple, very easy outfit that you can put together in no time. Now for the next outfit, I basically pulled a jumper from first look and trousers from previous look, uh, both from Lily Silk. Uh, and here you can see how easily you can create many different outfits if you have your basic pieces. I could easily as well just take the striped jumper and beige trousers 
and have another outfit. So it's a really nice outfit formula that it's good to have in mind, especially for days when you don't know what to wear. Yes, so we have beige and navy. I really love this combination and I really like how these flowy silk trousers work together with luxurious softness of the jumper. And I just had to finish this look with my beige uh, short coat. Again, because the tones are so close together, I feel like uh, the outfit looks even more put together and more thought through. Nothing special here, it's just the composition of colors, the fabric. Uh, and you probably noticed that with these trousers, I choose to wear uh, my sneakers. It's simply because the trousers are really elegant and classy, but I want to wear them casually. So I feel like sneakers, as always, bring this clean, fresh and very spring-like element to the look. I have an extra outfit that I couldn't really place in the right category. So I thought I would keep it with the jumpers and wide leg trousers. The jumper here is not relaxed, it's not oversized, but it's cozy. It's this white or cream turtleneck, again from Lily Silk, that is made from a silk and I think 10% of cashmere. So it fits really well, but it's not tight. It's very comfortable, very stretchy. I'm sure I could easy go size down, down or up down, smaller, <laughs> and it would be just fine. And I paired it with the same uh, beige trousers. I really love how these colors again come together. White sneakers, again, to keep it still quite casual. And to finish the look, I chose this beautiful oatmeal coat. Why turtleneck in spring, you might ask? It's a lovely light color that I feel like we all crave in spring, but it's also very fine and cool on your skin. It's really perfect for this time of year, so you don't have to wear your scarf but you still keep your neck warm and it looks really elegant. Now to the second category. This is definitely one of my favorite outfits uh, as an outfit formula um, any time of year, but I feel like spring or late summer is just amazing for a blazer and a wide leg trousers. Uh, <laughs> it makes me so happy. Now I've got a few versions of the same outfit, um, again, for colder days and for warmer days. You can, of course, wear different colors of blazer and trousers, but I was so excited that I finally have a matching trousers for this men's blazer from Arquette that I had to do it. So first of all, right now, here in London is really quite sunny and warm, but very windy. So for the first outfit, I chose the white turtleneck that you just saw, plus white sneakers, a nice, simple, very put together outfit, easy to wear on a daily basis, very practical, plus the turtleneck is quite smart. Keeping with the same base, again, I'm just changing the top. So here I'm wearing this long sleeve ribbed white top. It's a warmer version of your tank top. I really love it. It's got very long sleeves. It's really nice basic, but it doesn't look too casual. So you can easily wear it with your blazer. Here I was just playing with this scarf from Lily Silk. If you love totem silk scarves, but they're not in your budget, this scarf is amazing. I know it's a different pattern, but it's still very simple, minimalistic. It's got the geometric pattern that I I uh, personally really appreciate. I don't like any floral, abstract, polka dot. Uh, it just doesn't work for my style. It's a really good size as well, so you can style it in so many different ways. And actually my daughters, when they saw this clip, they were like, wow, this is so cool. Is it you, mom? I think especially with this blazer, this very masculine look in general, this nonchalant flowy scarf on my hair just adds something special. The less blazer plus trousers outfit is super cool. Actually, there are a few versions of it and please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I'm keeping the same outfit formula, but I'm actually styling a sleeveless blazer, which on Lily Silk website is called a vest, I think. Uh, so again, the first version is warmer for your cold, windy days, something that you can wear now as well as in winter. So uh, because the blazer is black, I wanted to keep it very monochromatic and I paired it with my black trousers, plus white sneakers for some nice contrast, just to pull the light color from the jumper. 
And that's it. It's a nice, simple, casual, but really put together outfit. Now, if it's still too cold to wear it on its own, you can easily pair it with some jacket, a long coat. Like in this case, I styled it with my trench coat. Now, when it gets warm, you can swap the turtleneck for something lighter, like a white t-shirt, white or black. Or when it gets even warmer, you can wear it on its own, or with the tank top underneath. Because I picked my blazer in a size large, it's quite oversized, actually exactly how I wanted it. So it's very open in the front and I can wear it on its own, uh, but I really love the combination with a tank top, either white or black. The beauty of this blazer is that it's made 100% from silk. So you can wear it in summer on a hot day because it's very breathable. And if you choose bigger size, it's quite flowy. So so it lets some air through. So I really can't wait to wear it in summer. I think the white tank top is my favorite, but also the black tank top with pearls. It's just such a nice, simple, a very put together outfit, very flowy, very nonchalant. For really high temperatures, I would wear a nice, simple uh, black leather slippers. Something, again, sleek and put together, but very comfortable and casual. The last category slash outfit formula is again, wide leg trousers and a shirt, oversized shirt. I have two versions of the first shirt that I'm gonna talk about and I've been waiting to wear this shirt again in spring. This is my thrifted men's shirt and I love it. I love the color, I love the white buttons, I love the fit, it's really beautiful. Uh, you can wear an oversized shirt with your trousers on its own. I would just unbutton it as much as possible, as much as you feel comfortable, just to give it some definition, to show your waist and to make it more interesting. Or you could wear a white tank top underneath and just open the shirt and wear it as an overshirt, as a, as a jacket. Both ways are really nice and nonchalant. I just feel like the first version is more put together and the second is more summery and relaxed. To accentuate the white buttons, I wore my pearl earrings. I could have gone even more for like pearl necklace, but I feel like it's a nice detail that is visible, but not too much. And again, white sneakers for a nice fresh element. Of course, you can wear this outfit in summer when it's much warmer. Just swap your white sneakers for a nice sandals, even your Birkenstock and you're good to go. And the last shirt and wide leg trousers outfit is this. I'm wearing white shirt from Lily Silk. Uh, I really love the color because it's not cream. Usually white uh, silk shirts have this cream or yellow tint to them. And I'm happy this one is quite wide. It's very flattering. The easiest way to style a silk shirt is with your tailored trousers, your skirt, something very elegant put together that you can wear to an office, for a date, uh, I don't know, some formal occasion. And I'm sure I will wear it that way. But if I wanted to style this shirt more casually, it would be, first of all, with jeans. Uh, so exactly what I'm wearing today. I've tried both a straight leg jeans and these wide leg and I feel like I like them both but wide leg is definitely much more my style because it looks more casual and modern. I would definitely add a belt. In general it adds a little bit more edge to your outfit like this one for example. It's a simple square buckle a belt. Uh, in general if you want to style your shirt um, casually, I would avoid any elegant, uh, classic, traditional jewelry. No pearls, no dainty necklaces, elegant uh, earrings. Silver, in my opinion, always looks more modern. Gold, more classic and traditional. I would also go for something like silver chunky necklace and a leather jacket, for example. So again, you bring more casual elements to your outfit. I wouldn't probably wear my white sneakers with this outfit. For some reason, it just doesn't feel right. Um, I would stay with more structured shoes. Nothing too fancy, no heels, just a nice black uh, classic uh, loafers or derbies. Of course, you're gonna need some layers, especially for now. So you can either go for a, a knitted vest or a jumper on top of it. 
So that's all my outfits today. I love such videos when I have to push myself to style um, one piece in a few different ways because it helps me in my wardrobe, in my style. As you can see, you don't need a lot of clothes. You just need very good basics to create really nice outfits and a lot of outfits. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some inspiration for spring outfits. Right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel and your likes thank you for your amazing comments let me know if you have any questions about the clothes or in general about styling i will be very happy to assist you have a lovely stylish week and i see you in my next video bye